So it's been two years now that I've had an electric bike for deer hunting and turkey hunting. And I just wanted to give you a two year review of what I found out from using these bikes that are behind me. The very first one I started out with was a generation two Rambo R750. It's the black one right behind me. That bike is unbelievable. I got to learn how electric bikes give you all sorts of advantages while you're out hunting. They're absolutely quiet. They're absolutely scent free. They're awesome for getting quickly to and from where you're going, and deer don't seem to mind them near as much as a walking hunter. A lot of times I'll go past a, a deer in the, after a morning hunt, and I'll drive past one of my food plots and there'll be a deer standing on it, and they might bounce off to the side and they'll look at you as you go by and they'll stay there. And I'll look back and they're still standing there as I disappear out of sight. Um, that won't happen if you're walking by foot or you're running an ATV. Um, over the years, I've been running my trail cameras with my ATVs because it leaves no scent. And deer will hear an ATV, they think it's farm machinery, it's not a big deal, um, and I have no scent in the woods. I'll drive right up to my cameras, check them. The Rambo bikes are different because it's absolutely silent, so I can get in and out without them even hearing me in there. Um, when I'm turkey hunting, I'm able to drive around the woods, drive around cornfields and everything, and be able to get to and from where I'm going absolutely silent, and there's often times where I'll be going running and gunning for turkeys, and I'll hear a turkey while I'm riding. That doesn't happen with an ATV. The first bike I was able to get was the black R750 right behind me, and that's a generation two model. That bike is the first introduction into electric bikes that I had, and it's absolutely unbelievable. It has a 48 volt lithium battery on it. The thing will go like 19 miles. It's supposed to go about 20 miles an hour, um, and it will definitely do that. Um, you can use it both as a pedal bike as a, and as an electric. So if you're going up and down hills and everything and you don't get the range you thought you would, you just pedal it back. That's the nice thing about these electric bikes is you just pedal them right back to where you are, throw them on the charger and you're ready to go the next day. But I found that you can go multiple days without charging these things. So during turkey or deer season, they stay on the back of the truck for most of the time. Every once in a while, I'll pull the batteries off throw them on a charger, put them back on the bikes before I go out the next morning. This thing is amazing, but there was a few little issues with it. I've got over 300 miles on that bike behind me. So I found that there's a couple little things that I didn't like about it. It has a derailleur, the actual thing that changes the, the, the speeds and the gears on the bike. It actually moves back and forth, but it sticks down below the bike. So when you're riding in cornfields or bean fields, every once in a while, you'll suck one up into the gearing and you'll have to stop, pull it out and restart, which is not a huge deal, but it is kind of cumbersome. Um, that changed on the generation three bike, which has a hub gear design, which switches inside the gears. So there's no chain that hangs down beneath the gears to get caught and uh, stuck and, and gummed up with the material. So it's really, really nice design on the generation three. These bikes have allowed me to get around properties and access properties that I might not normally access because I'm able to get out on the road, run down the road, come back in on another side. Um, one of my turkey spots that's just absolutely difficult to park on because I'd have to park on the side of the road, I can park down the road a mile, I can get out, zip down the road, and get in before it gets light. So these bikes have been an awesome tool for me. After two years and almost 500 miles between the two bikes, I would say they're an absolutely necessary tool in my hunting arsenal.